how to create an attractive youtube thumbnails leveraging the power of ai hey guys this is cheyenne and today in this tutorial i'm going to show you step by step how you can leverage ai to create attractive youtube thumbnails with ai the best part it works even if you don't have any design skills you don't need to learn any designing software for this and what is the best part is that you can actually take inspiration from any of the happening youtube thumbnails that you find on the internet and then you can use it as a model and you can actually develop your thumbnail on top of that so if that sounds interesting to you then please stick on with me till the end of this tutorial and don't skip any part of it because every part of it contains some amazing tips so don't miss out any part if you want to achieve the final results with that being said without further ado let's jump over to this tutorial and let's start So the first AI tool that we are going to use for this is Leonardo AI. Now this comes for absolutely free. You can just click on the link below in the description and start for free. Once you click on the link, you would be redirected to this website as you can see over here. And in here, you just need to click on this launch app that will take you to the Leonardo interface. And on here, you have a sort of presets. Now you need to choose the Phoenix preset because this works best with text, right? So we are going to choose that. And then there is the prompt enhance. Now we are going to keep it to auto, but if you want to enhance the prompt using AI, you can do that as well. The next thing that we have is preset style. As you can see, there are plenty of styles that are available, but for this example, we are going to keep it to none. Then we should go ahead and choose the quality as the generation mode. And then on the image dimension, we, choose, we should choose the dimension and then the number of image output that we want. Now, on the below, you can just scroll down and find this advanced settings. However, you don't need to tamper anything with it. But if you want to, if you are good at Leonardo, you can go ahead and do that, right? Now, once this is done, we'll head over to the internet and we'll search for a model thumbnail. So we are searching for attractive YouTube thumbnail. And this is what Google has to offer. So let's go ahead and choose this one for our model thumbnail, right? And then let's go ahead and save this image, give it a name and let's click on save now once this is saved we will go back to leonardo and this time we are going to choose describe with ai right and then we are going to upload the photo what this will do is that it will create an image to prompt that is it will give the prompt which can be used to generate similar kind of images so that's a great power to have with that being said you can feel free to copy this prompt as well now once you have done that we are going to go ahead and generate the image for us so let's go ahead and click on generate and as you can see the thumbnails have been generated there are the two versions that have been generated now if you i had chosen four files then i've gone four outputs as well now you can see this looks quite amazing right the first attempt that it has made and looks quite attractive and looks quite good in design now let us go ahead and choose this one for example and now we are going to head over to our second tool which is canva.com now we want to make the changes so that we don't get copyright so for that we'll go over to canva and then we'll upload the image that we have already created in leonardo right so let's go ahead and actually browse it so there you go now let's paste it over here so it's being uploaded let's wait there you go it has been uploaded now we need to set it as background so that i get the full quality of the image right now once this is done i'll just come over to this edit image right just come over edit image and click on that that will give you some ai tools one of those ai tools is called grab text this is an amazing feature in canva which actually allows you to grab any text within a design so we are going to select grab text and this will actually give us two options one is we can choose the part of the text that we want to grab and if we want to grab all then we just need to select all and click on grab and boom it would go ahead and actually grab everything for us as you can see everything has been uh, grabbed but one thing i want to tell you is that you, you can see the background is a little uh, overlapping so we are going to change that don't worry now that being said you can go ahead and actually change anything you can write anything over here and to change the background just head over to fx and from here you just need to choose the background option right on the background you can change the color to whatever color you want to i'm going to use a contrasting color so as you can see now it looks quite good but still there are a few more touches that i need to give now 
similarly design with ai again i'm going to add a background to it again i'm going to go over to fx again i'm going to choose background right and then on the background i'm going to choose the color as black so what this does is that it makes it a quite contrasting color now we can actually drag and reposition them wherever we want to we can change the fonts we can change uh, the font size we can change what kind of fonts we want everything is doable if you have a brand color brand font if you have anything like that which you do use in every design of yours you can feel free to do that as well so that's how the final output is going to look like and you can see this looks quite good. Now, to enhance it even more, we can go ahead and add elements. Say, for example, I want to add this timer over here. I can go ahead and do that. Now, I'm not limited to only timer. I can go ahead and add whatever I wish to. There are plenty of elements that are available on Canva, and this can definitely add an edge to your design. So with that being said, uh, that's how you can go ahead and design it. Once done, you can go ahead and click on download, and boom, it would be downloaded as your png image now once this is done you can actually go ahead and use this as your thumbnail now you can see the model over here this is the model and this is our output so you can see the output looks even better than the model itself so guys i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial on how you can create amazing youtube thumbnails with ai the best part as i told you again is that it can be done with leonardo and canva both of which can be accessed for free as well that being said, I do have got you covered with plenty of tutorials on Leonardo as well. If you wish to take a look at other videos of Leonardo, you can find it in the description below or you can find it on the cards over here as well. So that being said, it brings me to an end of this tutorial. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, help me with a like. And also please share this with your friends because they are also in desperate need to create amazing thumbnails just like this. If you have not subscribed to this channel as of now, then please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit on the bell notification icon to make sure that you get notified whenever I go live or I post a new video. So we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online. Signing off is Cheyenne. Take care. Bye-bye.